Okay, from the vault. Yes, top secret. Secret stuff. Secret, secret. Coming soon. So this is an uh, update, a respin of the Pi Badge, but I'm adding Wi-Fi to it so we can have IoT uh, Pi Badge projects. You get a screen and a D-pad. Uh, it's Featherwing compatible. And on the left there, you see instead of a speaker, we now have an ESP32 Wi-Fi coprocessor. I think this is going to be the badge for conferences this year and next year. There's nothing else that's lower cost and does all the stuff. Yep. You can run CircuitPython, yeah. you can use it in Maker, you can use it in Arduino, and yeah, cool. you get a screen and all the controls and Wi-Fi, secure Wi-Fi. Um, also took a look at respinning, updating the Pi Gamer. Uh, this time it uh, has a SAMD 51 J20, so it's got the full one megabyte flash to 56K RAM um, upgrade chip from the Pi Gamer uh, plane to the Pi Gamer Advance, and the screen is going to be a 320 by 240 two inch IPS display. So it's a bigger screen, which has some pros and cons. The pros is it's got more pixels, got four times as many pixels. Problem is it takes a lot longer to draw that many and you can't buffer as much in memory. So I think it's gonna be for more advanced uses. That's the advanced. Codename Pi Gamer Advanced, not to be confused with codename Pi Gamer DS. Yeah. <laughs> or Pi Gamer Switch. Okay, uh, next up, we're doing some machine learning stuff. So a little bit of a preview. Uh, a lot of people have seen these like freaky deep dream artwork pieces, um, or just like how the algorithm sees things. Lady Ada sees all. Um, yeah, so, I know this, like it's got, my ring became an eye. Yeah, everything just turns into eyes. But um, what we did film is the latest machine learning model training, we believe, uh, and I think on good authority from Hacks.io, this Damn. is the first model outside of Google that it's been trained besides the yes, no model that's been floating on. So this is up down, uh. probably hear a little bit of it in the background. In case you're uh, wondering, why is there like a fan noise? We wanted to have a, a, a real world environment to make sure the spoken words can be heard in something like an AP factory yeah. or you know, at a conference. So when you say up, it's up, those bubbles, down. you can see the graphics. There's also some sound and you say down, it goes down and it replenishes its up. bubble supply. Uh, this is my phone getting super soapy. Yes, yeah, so this, this is a Pi Gamer. I'm actually really liking using the Pi Gamer just as a general purpose. You know, I'm going to make a portable device because yeah. you can just plug in sensors and motors into the Stemma. Animation, sounds, uh, using Stemma, Damn. you get a microphone. You can also control a servo, a DC motor. This is all battery powered, so as they, as they like to say, it's machine learning oh, on the edge, edge with low power. So this edge is, control. yeah, so this is, uh, you know, the latest and greatest. We have a lot more coming. Um, and we'll also have some examples, uh, some, uh, some learn guides. This stuff is really complicated. Yes. Okay. And then you have... Um, I uh, have a live demo. Oh, let, me, let me just show you one last bit of bubble for you. Here go. Uh. Right. So you have a... Put it overhead. Okay, so I've got my demo. So this is the upgrade to the Halloween. Last year we released the Halloween around this time. And uh, this year I've decided to upgrade it to the Sam 51. Again, my favorite chip. Uh, so it's a lot faster and it can do more. It can play MP3s now. I can add this to my collection of boards that can do logo. Yes. Turtle. It can, we'll be able to run logo okay, turtle. So this is an upgraded super fast version yep. of the Halloween. It's still got all the same, you know, speaker, two stem connectors, uh, three pin, one I squared C port, on off switch, um, accelerometer, flash, and then of course the Sammy 51. Um, the screen has been updated. So this is now an IPS. 1.54 inch screen, so it's 240 by 240 pixels. I can still see the capacitive touch. So we're gonna have a higher res, better looking eyeball demo because uh, people loved that last year. And another thing that I added that's not in this one, but in the next version is um, I added four NeoPixels. So two NeoPixels out this way and two down. So you can kind of get an, like a background edge yeah, lit. That's cool. Um, like a under lighting effect. Uh, so the Salmon 51, so it'll be great for CircuitPython. Last year when we did some of the demos with the Halloween, the SAMD21 was really maxed out. But with the 51, you know, you'll be able to run really any Python code you like. So we'll be able to do more Python-based uh, Halloween projects this year. Okay. You got anything else you want to show before we go back in the vault? I just got, you know, I have the, the badge. This is kind of the prototype of the badge. You see one, Wi one yeah. wire, and this is yeah. what it's going to look like. Okay. Um, with the bigger screen. Right. And then I could see if this is, I don't think this turns on, but we can see what happens. I don't think this is running anything. All right, we'll see what, what happens when you, you plug it in. You never know. 
What happens? What happens? What happens? No, yeah, it's I don't prototype. Think, it's prototype. I hardware. think it's prototype, and I think I did not uh, power it on That's fine. or program it with any code. Tune in next week for the chilling conclusion of <laughs> turning that device on. But uh, this is the hardware I got so far. So this is what I'm working on. Okay. And more. All right. Back in the vault with you, weird version of Lady Ada. I see y'all. Yeah.